Hey guys, buckle up and make sure you tighten those seat belts tighter because today's video is such a wild ride that will have your jaws dropping cause who knew that this day would come? Well, apparently, Justin Bieber's mother Patty Malate is suing Kim Kardashian and Didi for mistreating her son. Now, I know that no one had this on their 2024 bingo card but since it's here, let's dive into it and see the nitty gritty of it all and go a little bit deep in the past and see exactly what Justin Bieber's mother was referring to and how they her her boy. So grab your popcorn and let's get it. So apparently inside news coming from trusted sources are saying that Justin Bieber's mother is considering taking legal action against both fashion and beauty mogul Kim Kardashian and Didi for sexualizing her son when he was still a minor and this news has got the whole industry shook and social media buzzing with many people saying that she she actually delayed doing it because these people have been doing her son bad for a long time and there were always hints. Anyways, let's get into what really happened between Justin Bieber and Kim Kardashian and Didi and come to some conclusions, right? So first of all, starting with Kim Kardashian, she and Justin Bieber met at the White House Correspondents Dinner in 2010 and by that time she was 29 while the pop star was just a 16 year old. A little while after their first encounter, the two immediately became a big topic in entertainment where they sparked dating rumors and of course it was a shock to many because of their age difference and the fact that Justin was just a minor. So Justin posted a picture on his Twitter where he was with Kim Kardashian and wrote, look, it's my girlfriend, to which Kim Kardashian replied saying, I officially have a Bieber forever. Now, this obviously pissed off Justin's fans, but nothing prepared them to what was going to happen next because he and Kim later made headlines again when they spent holidays together in the Bahamas. So the two took part in a photo shoot for Elle magazine where both of them were snapped in the waters. After that, there surfaced a video of Kim Kardashian talking about how Justin Bieber has a crush on her and how she wanted him to date her younger sister Kendall Jenner who was at the time 14 but Justin insisted that she just wanted her and not her sisters. I first met Justin Bieber at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in Washington DC and um, I think actually before that I had said in an interview that I wanted to set him up with my sister uh, Kendall who's 14 and then he had responded in an interview saying that um, no he didn't want to be hooked up with my sister he liked me or something just silly like that. Anyways, Kim Kardashian continued doing a lot of things that pissed off people where she even said that if Justin wasn't a minor, she would date him. So that was followed with Justin Bieber fans sending her death threats which she addressed during one of her interviews where she said, I was getting the craziest messages from all the believers and I was twittering him like, hey Biebs, this is crazy. Getting death threats from your fans. Anyways, that doesn't surprise me now because his fans also sent Hailey Bieber same threats just last year concerning her drama with Selena Gomez. So definitely he has a very solid fan base who are willing to fight for him no matter the situation. Otherwise, I feel like a lot of things were happening here. First of all, Kim Kardashian exploited Justin Bieber both sexually and for publicity because yo, she was a 29 year old woman sleeping with a minor teenage boy and if the roles were switched I feel like she would have even had gotten locked up because that was totally indecent. I also feel like she was also using Justin Bieber for fame because he was the hottest thing by that time so she used her to get some publicity just like she used 
Ray J by releasing that sex tape just for clout and fame. Well, when talking about Kim Kardashian and Justin Bieber, you can't also forget the fact that Justin Bieber has dated not only one, but four of the Kurt Jenner sisters, where the only one he hasn't dated is Khloe Kardashian, which is by the way not so new with the Kardashians because they're known for sharing men and sometimes dating men who are way younger than them. Of course, first given the example by their mother, Chris Jenner, who is 68 and currently dating 43-year-old Corey Gamble. Kim Kardashian has also done that very many times, where she had several victims like the recent one, Odell Beckham Jr., who she was 12 years a senior, Pete Davidson with a 13 years age difference, and also Justin Bieber. So after all this, I feel like his mother might be right with suing her after all, because what she did was not right, unacceptable, and maybe yes, she delayed to take action, but maybe she didn't realize how bad her son had it until Didi's crimes recently developed, which brings me to why she will also be suing Didi. So guys, don't go any Anywhere, let's also explore how Didi used Justin Bieber and allegedly did some other criminal and cruel things to the then teenager. So it is now infamously known by people that Didi is going down hard because of the crimes that recently shockingly emerged with several lawsuits from his ex-lovers and ex-employees where in a shocking twist Didi shifted from being this respected rapper to this person who the whole industry wants to cancel and one of the industry villains of our generation. So after all that cruel information was made public, it is hard not to go back in the days and see how he treated Justin Bieber and how he really traumatized him. So there recently resurfaced an old video of teenage Justin Bieber with Didi in some place where the two were apparently going to spend 48 hours together. Now, God knows what they did in those two days, but if the words said by Didi's ex-bodyguard Jin Dil are to be believed, Didi allegedly had a physical relationship with Justin Bieber. There are also some reports that Didi groomed Justin Bieber. Now, not that I'm coming to conclusions, but looking at this footage when Didi asked him why he hasn't talked to him since they spent two days together, you can clearly see that Justin was really nervous because of the way he started stuttering and pacing around nervously and he can't even ignore the fact that he had been scared to talk to to him ever since they spent those two days together. So who knows what he saw and experienced. Plus, this is not hard to understand because, get this, Justin Bieber met Didi through Asher and Asher himself said that he saw pretty weird things when he lived with Didi. Lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn <laughs> some Flavor Camp? Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like non-stop right no not really i Come mean on. but did I, hey it was curious i got a chance to see some things yeah but you were 13 what were you I seeing i went there to see the lifestyle right and, and i saw it teen years old you're a dad now would you ever send your kid to puffy camp <laughs> you hell <know>? no <laughs> so that's how justin bieber got under Didi, and he started mentoring him as well and according to what lee Rod claimed in his lawsuit against Didi, he said that he used to take advantage of artists, promising them bigger things like Grammy nominations and wins, which I suspect happened with Justin as well, because he was just a young boy who wanted to make it. Many people have come to speak different things against Didi, where Jaguar Wright alleged that Didi had always been using music to sex traffic and she isn't alone because she's just one of the many people who came to speak against him. Fans on the other side also shared what they think, where one said, 
Justin, whenever you're ready to tell your story, we are here for you, boo. Another one said, Justin, please help take him down. You deserve justice. I do think that all that Justin Bieber has passed through all contributed to how nowadays he looks kind of disoriented, isn't performing, and many people have been saying that he doesn't look good lately and that there's something wrong with him, which is understandable because all that we have just seen happened in the same years with Didi who was 15 and with Kim Kardashian who was 16 and you can't have that kind of teenage and grow up to be a stable person in the community. Anyways guys, we have come to the end of our video today where we explored how Justin Bieber's mother is taking a legal action against Kim Kardashian and Didi for using her son. As we wait for more information to come out and as well the follow-up of this lawsuit, like and subscribe to never miss out on a single update. Also, tell me what you think about all of this situation going on and how you feel about about what Justin's mom is doing. Stay tuned.